Eight seasons ago, when I created my very own football club, the goal was to become the world's best club. Now, this journey has not been easy. We've gone from struggling in EFL League 2 all the way to the Premier League, all while avoiding bankruptcy and watching some of our best players abandon us and leave. But in spite of all of that, we're here with a chance to fulfill our destiny, a chance to finish the story by winning the Champions League. Since we signed Erling Holland, the team is just on another level. He's scoring goals for fun. Take a look at his Champions League hat trick. Erling Holland is making a lovely run through. Surely this is it. Surely this is it. That's Erling Holland for you. Right, let's see what he can do now. Bringing it inside. Got the strength bang. Like, you can't stop him. He is an absolute machine. Erling Holland. He might just get his hat trick here. He might just get his hat trick. The first game we play with Holland, he scores a hat trick. That is just simply sensational. With Holland coming in, I'm confident we might be able to win the Premier League. And in the Champions League, I think we've got a great chance. It's time to find out who we're up against in the quarterfinals. Indo. Wow, this is going to be tricky. It just hit me. Today could be the day we fill this trophy cabinet with some of the most important trophies in football. A potential Champions League. Another Premier League title. Things are about to get insane. It's time for the first leg against Inter. And I'm thinking, what do I want to do with my team? My attack is sorted. Vinicius, Holland, Dara Burns, they're our starters for sure. Midfield though, I've got a sneaky feeling we might see a Callum Berry masterclass. So I'm going to bench Enzo Fernandez. Um, I'm going to try belling him in a deeper role. Is that good? I don't know if he can play there. Well, his stats say he can definitely play there. So let's give it a go. Oh, and how can I forget? Champions League knockout game. Mr. Passion himself. Callum Berry's got to have the armband. Before we get into this Champions League game, I've got an announcement to make. To celebrate what could possibly be the end of this series, one of my favorite ever series on YouTube, I gotta do a special promo for you guys on the S2GFC Kits website. If you use code UCL, you're gonna get yourself a 10% discount on your entire order. The promo will last until we have stock, so the kits are running out pretty quickly, boys. So if you wanna get your hands on an S2GFC kit, now is the perfect time to represent the world's best club. Once again, big thank you for supporting this Creator Club series, these jerseys and everything. It's awesome to see so many viewers representing the club. So I thought, you know what, now that the series is coming to an end, it's the perfect time to run a promo like this. I don't know if we're going to end the series with the Champions League trophy, but what I do know, this club is a massive success. But now, it's time to do the job on the pitch. Erling Haaland already in behind. Look at the menacing presence he's got. Look at him fight for every ball. Honestly, he's just a beast as Vinicius has a chance. Haaland now snapshot. You can't stop him. You really can't. He's going to win us every trophy possible. Just unbelievable that. Just just look at this from Vinicius, then Haaland, bang! Wow! Bro, when Haaland's making those kind of runs, I don't know as a defender what you can do, because he's just going to get past you easily, and then he's got the finishing ability to destroy you. Erling Haaland is having a field day against Inter here. Erling Haaland again getting behind the defender. It's, it's just brutal. It's just brutal. That's a hat trick from Haaland in the first half itself. How do you stop this guy? You can't. That's the simple answer you just can't no 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 they might get a chance to score no nope, no nope, no nope. not even one goal for inter we've got mcginty in net this is just crazy i don't think i've seen a better player than erling holland in an s2 gfc nope. shirt oh finally the keeper saves him but bro he is so menacing you can't do anything against him when he gets in behind it's it's unstoppable no nope. no no they might get a goal back no nope, they won't because mcginty just saves everything wow what a first half inter bamboozled inter managed to get a goal back which gives them a bit of a fighting chance but what Holland did in this game puts us in the driver's seat to qualify for the semi-finals. Bro, is Erling Holland even real? I used Machado and he was good but Holland is next level good. You just can't stop him. Where do you think he ranks in S2 GFC history in terms of top top players? I think for me, Raul Lopez would be up there among the club's very best. Callum Berry as well based on of course the length they've been here but I think Erling Holland, with the way he's playing especially if he gets us the Champions League it's got to be up there with the likes of Max Holmes and Holmes Jr. And all the other top players we've had like Machado. Bro, he's seriously up there. Meanwhile, boys, got a special announcement to make. I've been on a business trip to 
Spain. Maybe I've been negotiating to buy a club in Spain to, of course, have S2GFC's presence in a new league. Maybe that's going to be the next series we do. I don't know, but yeah, maybe something is happening. That's all I'm going to say. But S2G club, the football, definitely sounds good. Don't forget, the Premier League title race is still on. We managed to beat Leicester, but we're still very dependent on Man City dropping points, and it looks like they did drop more points. They're now only four points ahead of us, which means, bro, things are coming into place. Winning both the Premier League and the Champions League in the same season, I think that would be iconic. Imagine the amount of trophies we'll be adding to our cabinet. Spice could never. Okay, that was unnecessary. Because we've got such a good advantage in the Champions League, I'm gonna give a chance to Holmes Jr., Jimenez, Rivera, and a lot of the youngsters to just shine in this game. So let's get the job done. Guys, have I underestimated Inter? Because we've now conceded a penalty. Lautaro Martinez misses. That's huge. Is this some sort of a joke? Inter have now got a second penalty. And if they score here, it could get really bad for us. But McGinty saves again. That is ridiculous. Can't lie, boys. Without a lot of our first team players, we are basically surviving here. So far, we've done a good job. It's nil-nil. We've got a two-goal cushion. But I don't know how long we can keep this up without conceding. Right now, Musiala's on it. We've got to just stop him. Plays it inside for Lautaro. This is getting really bad. We're defending this well. And Rivera with the challenge. We've got a free kick in a very good position. And by the looks of things, it is, of course, Enzo Fernandez, who's the best free kick taker in the club right now. Has he learned a bit from Leo Messi? If he has, we might be scoring a banger of a free kick. Let's find out. Enzo... Ah, that was bad. And there you have it, boys. Full time. We didn't put in the best of performances, but we stuck in, got the job done. On we go to the semi-finals. But now, though, we got to keep the Champions League aside as the chase for the Premier League title continues. It's only four points, but our next game is going to be a huge test for us. We're up against Liverpool. And did I mention we're playing this game at Anfield? I learned. Going for goal or from that angle, if he would have scored, it'd be outrageous. Bruh. He might just score. Bro, you can't separate Holland and goals. He's just unstoppable. Oh, my days. Guys, I'm already thinking, is Holland the best signing we've ever made in this club's history? I really think so, because my God, has he made this team competitive again in all competitions. Like when Machado left, it was like a part of me was just taken away. But Holland has brought everything this team needed back. No, 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 no. This is bad. And Liverpool get an equalizer. Rodrigo with the goal. We can't afford to lose this game, boys, because if we do, it's going to be problematic. Erling Holland again, a couple of Really good touches. He's got the strength. Looks inside for Burns. Oh, Burns. He never misses those. Oh, I've sent Holland through. He's kept himself onside the machine. Nope. No. Oh, that went. I just can't believe Holland's luck. His shots have got so much power that even when keepers make the save, they don't make the save. Vinicius Jr. making that run, and there's someone I see at the back post. Across for Haaland. Oh, what a save from the keeper. No, 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 no. Darwin Nunes threw on goal. We can't concede. No! This could be huge in the title race. No! Of course it's Darwin Nunes. Ah. We now have 20 minutes to save our Premier League title race. If we don't score, I think it's over. Man City going to win the league. Although Vinicius he is. He's just managed to break through immediately from kickoff. He has a habit of doing this. Still Vinicius. Oh, he can't get the shot off properly. Bellingham looking for Holland. This could be it. This could be it. Erling Holland. Oh, no. 90th minute. Allison with the clutch save. That was our chance. We might have one last opportunity here. Vinicius Jr. keeping hold of the ball. We're moving it around really well. We've given it away. Oh, no. It's all over. It's all over. I don't think now we have what it takes to turn around the Premier League title race. We did so well. Thankfully, we managed to get back to winning ways against West Ham. But look at that, boys. The gap is now back to six points with just five games to go. Man City are going to have to drop a lot of points and we're going to have to be perfect. I don't see much hope in the Premier League, but we'll keep pushing. For now, the agenda is the Champions League once again when Napoli have knocked out Bayern, Juve knocked out Chelsea, and Dortmund have knocked out Atletico. And this looks like a very random Champions League semi-finals. Who are we going to face? Ooh, Juventus. Wow. You know what? I reckon we've got a chance here, even though we're lacking fitness because we did prioritize a lot of the Premier League, but I'm still going to play my strongest 11 here. Let's do this. Oh, they've got Pedri. Juventus are going to be tough. He has kicked off already, and here's Pedri on the attack. I knew he's going to be dangerous because he's just that kind of a player 
player, you know, looking inside. Chance for UV. We're being forced to be very smart about our defense here. Come on, somebody put a tackle in, please. No, they've got a chance to <laughs> shoot. Oh, I just took out Vlahovic. They haven't asked for a free kick. It's some rough English football from us, but we somehow haven't conceded yet. And McGinty forced to make a save. Not gonna lie, this is not the Juventus we know in real life these days. This is a Juventus. That is very capable off the crossbar. We're extremely lucky. We're still nil-nil with them. We need a moment of magic and maybe Erling Haaland can provide it. This is what he does best. Haaland now attacking. Top nope. angle, but the keeper saves. No, Juventus almost making it 1-0. McGinty, this is turning out being a most difficult challenge yet in the Champions League. Raul Lopez with a powerful run as club captain. He's giving it everything. Still Raul Lopez, fake shotting inside. Looking for a ball inside. Vinicius with a bicycle kick. Could you imagine the scenes? Ay, ay, ay. That would have been brilliant. Go on, Dara Burns. Insert for Raul Lopez. Raul Lopez is broken through, but he's going to have to take it backwards. Looking for Vinicius. No. Nope. The header. No way. This has been the most intense Champions League game I think we've ever played. It's crazy. Dara Burns. Sees the ball for Holland, controls it well, tough angle, and he squeezes it in. That's what Erling Holland can do. A goal out of nothing. What a finish. No, no, no. They've got a chance for the equalizer. McIntyre's not letting anything pass. Dara Burns still on the attack here. We could get a crucial goal. Oh, wow. How have they survived that? Joe oh, Bellingham, oh my word, that might be the best goal of this series, or at least up there as one of the best. Jude Bellingham, what on earth have you just done? Wow. Nah, guys, that is crazy. That is crazy. How on earth has Jude Bellingham done that? The power he got on that half volley, outrageous. The keeper had no chance. The goal that could send us to a Champions League final. No, no, no. Juventus could get a goal back. We do not want that. Don Carlo Plata on the attack here. Cut back. No, they're not getting a goal tonight. It is job done for us. Full time. A huge win. We're so close to a Champions League final. Meanwhile, in the Premier League, we keep getting the job done, but it's still not looking enough, man. Man City are just pretty much two games away from winning the Premier League title. I think we need to give up on hopes of winning the Premier League and just focus on what we can win, which is the Champions League. It's now time for the second leg against Juventus. We're doing it up. All we got to do in this game is survive. Or maybe we can do more than survive as Haaland has broken through on goal. He's going to get himself a goal. There you go. 3-0 up on aggregate. I don't see Juventus coming back from this. No, no, no. And there you go. That Haaland goal was enough to send us through to our very first Champions League final. We're almost there. We're almost going to make S2 GFC the world's best club. I can't believe it. And the date is set. It's Borussia Dortmund we're facing in the Champions League final. Wow. How have they made it here? They don't have Bellingham. They don't have Haaland. But fair enough. Dortmund in a Champions League final. This could be the ultimate game in our club's history and I'm ready for it. Also guys, since this is looking like the last episode of the series, who else do you think should be in our Hall of Fame? We've got Holmes, Neymar, Chiellini and Isco. I think we need to have Raul Lopez, Callum Berry, Martino Machado do, even though he left us. Maybe even Holland at this point. So many players. Let me know in the comment section which players deserve to be in the Hall of Fame and we'll put them on there. Morale in the Premier League is definitely low, but we're still winning games. We even beat Everton in, but it looks like Man City have it in the bag. We failed to defend our Premier League title. They're going to win the league, guys, because their goal difference is far superior to us. It's done. Manchester City are Premier League winners, and instantly as this happened, I get a text from Joe Bellingham. Ha ha ha, Sid, I told you you're a fraud. Last season was a complete fluke. This time, I showed you who's boss. I can already sense my brother Jude Steers. This is brilliant. I can't lie, boys. I want a chance to get revenge against Joe Bellingham. He got me for the Premier league title this time so did mukiel and dane scarlet but surely there's a way we can get revenge against them yes guys because we're in the fa cup final this is our chance to get revenge honestly for the fa cup final i want to play the likes of tyler give some of the og legends of this club a chance to have their final swan song their final goodbye Callum berry's gonna captain the team tyler plays as well holmes jr i'm gonna try him at left wing we'll put jimenez on the bench maybe at some point we'll bring him on. It's time to get revenge against City and win another FA Cup. I've only just realized if we win the FA Cup this season with Callum Berry as captain, it would be the third time we're lifting this trophy. Three FA Cups over the 
these eight seasons, that's that's something. This is how both teams have made it to the final, and yep, it's against Man City. Time to show Joe Bellingham who's boss one last time. This could be David Tyler's last game in an S2 GFC shirt. I really want to see him score. But it was Mukiele who got the ball off him. Okay, why are we looking so lethargic on the ball and everything now? This is not a good start at Wembley. Pedro Goncalves, Scalvini with the block. We get it away. Very risky for me to start Holmes Jr. down the left hand side. But if you look at his stats, he's got what it takes to be the perfect left winger with that utterly ridiculous space. But not the dribbling, maybe. Using Holmes Jr. space. Looks like we've broken through. This is brilliant. Still Holmes Jr. looking for a cross for, I think, Burns. Nope. Why? Why did he take a touch there? That was a simple header. Nice Holmes Jr. down the left. It's absolutely working. That raw pace, it is absolutely rootless, but not enough for Ruben Diaz. Lopez waiting for a bit of support. Patterson comes with exactly that. Back again for Raul Lopez. Going for an effort. Raul Lopez in an FA Cup. That is outrageous. A special goal from a special player. We're leading in the FA Cup final. Take that, Joe Bellingham. Oh, that's a lovely pass for Tyler from Holmes Jr. This could be a second and a memorable goal for Tyler. He gets his goal. We've been waiting to see Tyler score. And he's kept it. For a crucial moment like this, Kunal up in the FA Cup final. Holmesy and Tyler scoring. It's it's emotional, of course. It's Holmes' son who's doing the job here for us, but it's it's beautiful to see. Man, seeing a Holmes assist to Tyler, it's 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 a bit too emotional, honestly. Oh, Raul Lopez. Raul Lopez Easy. could settle the game here. Raul Lopez gets his second of the night. Manchester City have been stunned. We get the last laugh against Joe Bellingham, Mukiele, and everyone else. This is going to be a historic third FA Cup rest to GFC. There you go, boys. The full-time whistle. We've won another FA Cup. Club captain Callum Berry has made a habit out of lifting this FA Cup, but is there more to come? Can we win club football's ultimate prize? The Champions League. With the Premier League all wrapped up, we're just getting through the final couple of games, hoping for wins. We beat Spurs and we beat Wolves, which is awesome. And so the Premier League season ends with us finishing second. We had no chance, but we were at one stage 18 points behind City. We showed a lot of character and we lost the league by six points. I think that's still a big achievement. Truth is, we do have bigger fish to fry the Champions League. Before that though, I just want to take it in. What a journey this Kure mode's been in. From all the way in EFL League 2 to the Premier League and now the Champions League. This is going to be emotional. What a season it's been for the likes of Haaland. I'm sure he's going to be ready for that final. Vinicius as well was clutch. Dara Burns. I can never forget the amount of clutch goals. Holmes Jr scored that was crazy bellingham was a ridiculous signing what a season it's now time to finish the story but just as i was gearing up for the champions league final against dortmund i receive a call from our club physio boss you won't like to hear this this is extremely sad erling holland has sprained his ankle he'll be out for only a couple of weeks but that means he will miss the champions league final no guys no 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 i refuse to believe this he's actually out with a sprained ankle for three weeks no no guys and that do he injured him Himself in training that is brutal the champions league final is almost here and and no way harland is playing this game what do we do now well the only options we've got is either holmes jr or david tyler i'm so freaking confused do you know what we gave david tyler his moment in the fa cup he got his goal helped us win the trophy maybe it's destiny for holmes jr to do something his father never could his father got this club up until this point it's now time for the son to take it to the next level this is unbelievable. We're going to have a 19-year-old kid starting in that striker position. Hey, but talent can't be defined by age. Holmes Jr. showed what he's all about. One more special night from Holmes Jr. and we could walk away with the Champions League. And wow, the Champions League's going to be played in Paris. We've got a Jude Bellingham T4. Bet that's going to annoy Joe Bellingham a lot. But here we are. Champions League final. S2 GFC versus Borussia Dortmund. It's a freaking huge night. Can you believe it, boys? That's what we're playing for. Something we've been striving towards from day one in this series. No Haaland. That kid right there is going to be the one we're putting all our faith in. This is scary, but at the same time, imagine the scenes if Holmes Jr. is the one to get us that trophy. 
this game is going to be electric. Champions League final. We're on the front foot here. Chance for Darren Burns calling it. Oh, what a save from the keeper. Dortmund do look scared. This Dortmund team are different. They're not just going to be sitting around and we're watching a score. They're on the attack here. Zaniola with a couple of nice moves. Balder gets taken out. This is bad. Scalvini's being forced here to do something. They might have a chance here. Get the ball off them, guys, please. Scalvini. Oh, my God. Everybody's just tripping over the ball. What is going on? Please clear the ball away, someone. McGinty with the save. My God, was that stressful. I'll tell you this, boys. Without Haaland, we don't have that focal point in the attack. But what we do have is a lot of pace. And if Vinicius Junior can use that well, we can cause problems. But he's got no support like he normally would have with Haaland. He's done really well to get it back. Burns, Holmes Jr. Nope. Ah, that's, just, that's just completely a waste. Vinicius Jr. Looking for Raul Lopez from distance. Trying to call one in. Good save. Darren Burns from distance. Forces a big save. Vinicius could get there first. Ooh, he almost did. We're playing a really aggressive high line, which means at the back we're super exposed here. And we almost conceded, if not for a lasted challenge from Patterson, which could have easily been a red card. Wow, was that stressful. Burns, I see that run. I see that movement. Holmes Jr. trying to play the cross in. That was more like a shot. We're really trying to carve. Dortmund open, but it's it's not working. They're really good defensively. Although another shot for Dara Burns. It's probably been our best player of the night with his movement and everything. Yeah, he goes again. Dara Burns trying something. Forts for Holmes. Oh, he couldn't get the best out of the situation. And that's going to be half time. Oh, it's even Steven against Dortmund. Do you know what, boys? I think we might need some changes. I'm going to play Bellingham in a deeper role. And I think it's time to bring on our club captain, Callum Berry, the passion merchant. Let's see if he can help change the game. Vinicius Jr. trying to unlock the defense. What an attempt. Oh, Dara Burns with space. This could be iconic. Dara Burns firing it inside. Vinicius Jr. completely free. 1-0 in the Champions League final. My controller almost got unplugged. Who cares though? 1-0 against Dortmund. An iconic goal in S2 GFC history. Oh my god. Vinicius, right place, right time. Oh, that is that is a stress reliever. Dara Burns was clutched there. And a tap-in is what's going to be one of the biggest goals in our club's history. Of course it is. But remember, there is still 15 minutes of football to be played. We're giving our lives on this pitch right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We can do with the save. Get the ball away, please. We don't want any stresses towards the end of this game. No, 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 please. Suddenly, we just can't keep the ball to save our lives, man. What is going on? No, Dortmund equalize. Oh. Oh, it's back to square one. There is still time for somebody to be the hero and get the winner. Holmes Jr. Holmes Jr. No, it's off the post. No, that was his moment to complete the legacy. No. One last chance. Callum Berry driving it forward. He's getting pulled back. Callum Berry. Stu GFC is back. The series you guys love is here. FIFA 23, create the club career mode. There is the new S2 GFC kit for the season, and we've got Garnacho wearing it, bro. But that's it. I think that's it. We've lost the FA Cup final. Oh. It's done. We've won the championship. Oh my days. Oh, hey. Just won the Premier League, boys. Is this the greatest signing we've ever made? In terms of, you know, stature, probably is. To win the Champions League and maybe the Premier League. It could be the greatest ending for S2GFC, and I will see you there for the finale. One last chance. Callum Berry driving it forward. He's getting pulled back. Callum Berry finding space. Oh, Callum Berry in the 90th minute. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. You legit can't write this stuff. Callum Berry has just scored a 90th minute winner. Are you joking? Are you joking? I saw that space towards the end and I went for it. Oh, my God. God, guys, I'm going to lose my voice. I'm going to lose my voice. Bro, how on earth has this happened? Callum Berry, the one and only. It had to be him. I'm getting a bit of tears, boys. Unreal. What a story and what an end to it. Bro, I'm feeling overwhelmed right now. Of all players, it was Callum Berry 
who ended up scoring a 90th minute winner. The man who was there with us from day one helped us finish the story. The moment we've all been waiting for. Callum Berry lifts the Champions League trophy. S2G FC is at the very top of football. And so that's a wrap. Honestly, this Creator Club series was absolutely insane. But I've got my tickets booked to Spain. Como estas? S2G Trebien. I don't know what all that means, but we're going to Spain. So very soon.